What's up guys, I'm Nika from Turkish Angora Cats Active Breeders Facebook page and I'm going to tell you about uh, the Turkish Angora prices today and why they should not or could not be cheap. Coming up! Alright, so um, when you see a kitten that is very cheap, uh, please be aware of all the costs that uh, raising a kitten imply, so you will know what to ask a breeder when the price is super super cheap. So uh, first of all, you need to ask for like if it's fairly great cat, because there are a lot of uh, cats that are sold like Turkish Angora, but they don't have any documents, so that's why obviously the price is lower. And so then um, when you contact breeders, all over the world the prices are, uh, can, can vary, they can be different but also like beware of the very low prices because um, growing um, a Turkish Angora kitten takes a lot of effort, uh, time and money so um, first of all like when you want to build a cat tree you will need to, the time to investigate and to learn about the subject and to learn about the breed and uh, to find the um, a perfect couple for your cat tree. Uh, you will need to spend some time um, knowing the people so they can sell you the kitten, like knowing the breeders and um, like maybe presenting your like vet or like someone who can recommend you or like as a cat owner and stuff. Um, so it's uh, pretty time consuming. I think I spent like a year and a year and a half or something like that before I purchased the first um, cat, Turkish Shangara cat. So um, it's, it was real investigation. <laughs> <laughs> more than like marketing research um, so when even if you buy a couple of cats and you're lucky enough uh, the breeders will trust you with the kitchen when you have a couple already you will have to think about the cat redesign so you will have to think about the trees uh, the toys uh, the scratchers uh, like all the space they need to have kittens like all the special a netting you will have to do to your house like everything you will do um, will require money and time obviously and then um, the, uh, they uh, will need to, to be checked uh, with the bed especially a special bed for the cat trees so that uh, like they will go there regularly so you will have like all type of bed checks especially when your queen is um, is um, pregnant and um, you will have kittens in the future like everything from like um, c-section to um, like um, blood tests and stuff like whatever like checks you can imagine and then um, the registration as well like if you go to several organizations you will have to pay for registrations uh, in some countries um, there is a registration fee for the catteries, like governmental fee and in some organizations you will have to pay for the, the each kitten, the registration of each kitten uh, like the parents as well in your country in that organization so if you go to various so several shows um, you will have to register your cat in each one of them and then for the exhibition you always pay some money uh, it's not like a huge amount of money but at the end it sums up to like uh, some some extent important money um, when when you are a responsible breeder as well you want to uh, build a career for your cat so it goes to shows and um, you want him to have like a title and you want several judges to see him and to decide like what, which way will you go with your breeding line so they will advise you to I don't know um, for cat to have like a longer tail or longer uh, legs or stuff like that so you want that feedback as well so you go regularly to shows to compete and so um, compete and to have that feedback and so uh, those shows are usually expensive like you're lucky if you live in the central city um, but uh, even though you will have to travel uh, maybe in another city uh, or maybe in another country 
and so um, you will have to consider like the hotel, um, the um, transportation, like obviously the tickets and uh, stuff like all that um, traveling organizations. And then you will have to have uh, the special carriers, um, like the, the, the exhibition carriers. And so the, also there are like people who are buying the trollers <laughs> because they have so many cats or so many stuff. Um, then um, uh, also like when you have a litter, it's quite expensive because you will need to feed your queens with a special food. And then once you have kittens, they also will vary food. Um, like the, the your expenses will increase at that time as well because um, sometimes it's not like they are um, stopping to eat uh, the milk of their mother and they will just start eating the dry food or whatever food you you're expecting to give them. Um, actually, the food can be quite expensive because um, uh, the responsible breeders will prepare the food for their cats. So they will do it like daily and uh, so it's fresh and they will use only fresh ingredients. And so um, ideally you will do that as well. So it's, it's quite time consuming and it's quite an effort if you will go that way. Uh, but definitely some breeders will, will, like, uh, will do that. So that's quite um, adds up a little bit of investment as well. Um, when um, like when you have um, when you have a litter as well, uh, you will need to consider that uh, sometimes uh, the mother maybe is not a good mother, or maybe she's not having enough milk, or, or something happened. So you will have to feed the kittens yourself for each two hours, I think, or three hours. You will have to give a kitten like milk to a kitten with a bottle, like special kind of milk. And at night as well, so if you can imagine like for a long period of time, uh, like, I don't know, some weeks. <laughs> and so uh, if you like invest your time in that way, obviously um, the price of this kitten will be rising up. So um, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please do let me know because I read all of them and I uh, try to answer all of them. And also there are a lot of breeders from different parts of the world so they can um, also see if, if that makes sense. So we kind of all together can come up with a better answer. So um, yeah, um, looking, for your, looking forward for your questions. Bye bye.